Okay, so this is an ancient tutorial, which I filmed many years ago, as you can see from the date in the bottom right corner. Um, and I just thought it might be fun to finally put it online because it's a very valid thing that I'm covering. And that's how to put an arch into a wall, which has, um, well, you'll see, you'll see, it's a vaulted arch. So we're just going through the basic motions. We're just using a proportional bevel. Um, and it's very important we use a proportional bevel um, so that we can get this effect. Um, and yeah, we have a pretty nice arch arch there. Um, weld the two corner points together like so. Um, and so we do now have a wall with an arch etched into it. Yeah, so now you want to extrude, you want to make sure you have caps on. And that's just to get the depth. Now you're selecting both sides and we're just going to go to bridge tool and we're just going to make the hole like so. Um, okay, so we have a basic arch, but it's not, there's nothing vaulted about this. Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to select the inner part of the vault and we're going to try uh, making that bigger. Oh, well, well, that doesn't work, does it? Mm, okay, I mean, it's a certain type of architecture, but it's definitely not what we're going for with this. So, um, that's obviously not a good way to carry on. Um, however, we did accomplish what we wanted at the bottom. We had it lower on the inside than the outside. So what we need to do now is we actually need to, you see, we, we do get a lot of overlapping polys. Um, even if we try making it smaller, we get the overlapping poly problem. Um, but it's a really simple fix. All you need to do is you just bring these two points in, you rescale them out to, a, to such a point, and yeah, that's really all there is to it. Um, it's remarkably simple, but it's something that I see getting asked on Facebook groups all the time um, and on the Cinema 4D websites. Um, yeah, it's really simple. Um, I also plan on doing more of these uh, kind of quick tip ones um, alongside longer tutorials. So, yeah, keep a lookout for that. And, um, yeah, the next one's going to be a bit more professional, a bit more up to date. <laughs> um, because uh, this is just something I had lying on my hard drive from years ago that I meant to put online. And, um, yeah, be safe out there.